Alpine team principal Bruno Famin is considering Mick Schumacher for the 2025 Formula One season. Schumacher has impressed in the World Endurance Championship, showcasing his talent and determination. After competing in F1 with Haas in 2021 and 2022, he has struggled to return to the grid. However, his fortunes may be about to improve as Alpine considers him a strong candidate for their lineup. Alpine has had a poor start to the 2024 F1 season, with Esteban Ocon scoring their only point so far. This lack of performance has put both Ocon and teammate Pierre Gasly under pressure, as their contracts are set to expire at the end of the season. If either driver leaves, Schumacher is a top contender for an F1 seat, bringing fresh talent and experience from endurance racing. Alpine's struggles continued in Imola, frustrating Pierre Gasly due to unmet driver preference agreements. The team is far from their expected performance level, raising questions about their competitiveness. Both current drivers are out of contract at the end of 2025, creating opportunities for potential changes in the driver lineup. Alpine's decline has been notable, worsened by key staff departures. They lost technical director Matt Harmon, head of aerodynamics Dirk De Beer, and chief technical officer Pat Fry. These losses have significantly impacted the team's performance and strategic direction. Additionally, they parted ways with team principal Laurent Rossi and sporting director Alan Permain, further complicating their efforts to regain competitiveness. These changes have not led to the expected revival, deepening the crisis and causing concern among stakeholders. Tensions between Ocon and Gasly remain high, despite Ocon's solitary point in Miami. This point was celebrated amid deeper team issues indicating the severity of their struggles. Friction between the drivers resurfaced, with Gasly criticising the team's handling of driver preferences. Their past animosity could reignite, potentially leading one to seek opportunities elsewhere, which would force Alpine to reconsider their driver strategy. During FP3 at Imola, Gasly missed a chance for a fast lap due to Ocon being sent out earlier, leading to frustration. Gasly's comments highlighted ongoing internal issues and growing driver frustration. He questioned the team's management and expressed dissatisfaction with his position, indicating deeper issues that need addressing. Bruno Famin has discussed the team's prospects for 2025, focusing on Schumacher. He praised Schumacher's performance in their endurance programme, noting his mindset and speed. However, Famin emphasised the need for balanced performance, suggesting that while Schumacher is a strong candidate, the team must carefully evaluate all factors before making a decision. Schumacher has shown exceptional cooperation and support for teammates, traits that are highly valued in a team environment. His positive attitude and helpfulness contribute to his candidacy for an Alpine seat. The controversial treatment he received at Haas remains a topic of debate. Some argue that with fair opportunity, he could have significantly improved the team's performance, attributing the issue more to management than to his abilities. Alpine is in a similar situation to 2022, struggling to compete for points. This downturn is significant given their recent history as a strong midfield contender. Ocon and Gasly's dissatisfaction is evident, as they have expressed concerns about their future with the team. Ocon has been linked with seats at Audi and Mercedes, adding an interesting dynamic to his career options. His potential departure would create a significant gap that Schumacher could fill. Ocon discussed his uncertain future beyond 2025, emphasising the upcoming year's significance. He is determined to give his best effort and avoid regrets. Ocon's contract terms are now more favourable compared to 2019, reflecting his growth as a driver. He highlighted his achievements as a race winner and podium finisher, citing these as strong points in his favour. Alpine may not reciprocate Ocon's favour, given their current situation. Both Ocon and Gasly seem disinterested in staying with the team. Gasly's move from AlphaTauri has not yielded the expected results. He has struggled to advance beyond Q1 and has yet to score points in 2024, contrasting with his earlier successes. This performance gap could understandably frustrate Gasly and influence his decisions about his future. Alpine has lost many top engineers but could attract new talent interested in reviving the team. The market remains open and there are opportunities to lure new names committed to restoring the team's competitiveness. Apart from Schumacher, there is also a focus on Jack Duhan, their academy driver, who raced in F2 last year. The chatter around the grid suggests that Alpine is looking to rebuild with a driver lineup suited to their current challenges. Famine's consideration of Schumacher also aligns with the broader trend of F1 teams leveraging talent from endurance racing. 
this cross-disciplinary approach can bring new perspectives and skills to the team. Schumacher's endurance racing experience has honed his ability to manage long stints and maintain consistent performance under varying conditions, which is beneficial for F1. The focus on Schumacher also reflects Alpine's strategy to nurture young talent and build a sustainable driver pipeline. Schumacher's racing pedigree, being the son of the legendary Michael Schumacher, adds a layer of prestige and historical significance to his potential inclusion in the team. This could also boost team morale and fan support. Jack Doohan's potential role cannot be overlooked. As an academy driver, Doohan represents the future of Alpine's racing strategy. His progress in F2 has been closely monitored and he has shown promise in adapting to higher levels of competition. Integrating both Schumacher and Doohan could provide Alpine with a balanced mix of experience and youth, fostering a dynamic and competitive environment. Alpine's rebuilding phase is crucial. The team's leadership must ensure that new hires and driver selections are aligned with their long-term vision. This involves not only performance metrics, but also cultural fit and the ability to work collaboratively under pressure. Schumacher's known for his teamwork and resilience, making him an ideal candidate in this regard. Moreover, Alpine's recent struggles have highlighted the need for stability and strong leadership. The departure of key figures has undoubtedly disrupted their operations. Famine's task is to stabilise the team, reinvigorate their competitive spirit and create a cohesive unit that can perform consistently. Schumacher's inclusion could play a pivotal role in achieving these objectives. The technical challenges faced by Alpine also require attention. The team must address their car's performance issues, which have hindered their progress this season. Strategic technical hires, coupled with driver inputs from experienced racers like Schumacher, could help pinpoint and resolve these issues more more effectively. Alpine's strategy must also consider the broader F1 landscape. Competitiveness in F1 is not just about having the fastest car, but also about strategic race management, pit stop efficiency and adaptability to race conditions. Schumacher's endurance racing background can provide valuable insights into these areas, potentially giving Alpine an edge. The financial aspect of rebuilding cannot be ignored. F1 is an expensive sport, and managing budgets while pursuing competitiveness is a delicate balance. Schumacher's marketability and fan base could attract sponsorships, providing Providing Alpine with additional financial resources. This would support their technical and strategic initiatives, aiding their overall recovery. Furthermore, the dynamics between drivers Ocon and Gasly must be carefully managed. Their past tensions and current dissatisfaction could disrupt team harmony. Integrating a new driver like Schumacher, who is known for his positive team spirit, might help mitigate these tensions and foster a more collaborative environment. The decision to bring in Schumacher would also signal Alpine's commitment to nurturing talent and giving opportunities to drivers who have demonstrated potential but faced setbacks. This aligns with F1's broader narrative of resilience and the importance of second chances, which resonates well with fans and stakeholders alike. Considering these factors, Schumacher's potential inclusion in Alpine's 2025 lineup appears to be a strategic move. His skills, experience and positive attitude could significantly contribute to the team's rebuilding efforts. However, the ultimate decision will depend on various factors, including his performance in the remainder of the endurance season and how well he fits into Alpine's long-term plans. Do you envision Mick Schumacher joining Alpine in 2025? And would he be a suitable match for the team? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Until next time, goodbye for now.